I'm Edward and my line Edward Bass is named for myself because it's kind of what I'm all about. It's a compilation of the shades I feel a woman should be wearing on her lips, her eyes, her face, and even under her makeup with an edited range of skincare. I really, I saw so many women mess up that I figured the more pared down we could make it, the more no fuss, the better. I really stand for making a woman look like herself, but better. So it's, if you've got on a lipstick, maybe it's that it doesn't jump out before you. Eyeshadow, same thing, trying to mimic mother nature and the face is equally as flawless. So the, the more pared down, the more goof proof, it all reflects that less is more. I really aim to design makeup not based on trend or season. So I'm not gonna tell you it's hot right now and then not in a couple of weeks. You know, trying to, uh, to make you look your best now and in a few months and a few years and ultimately that you'd look back at a photo of yourself now and not kick yourself for having worn uh, my makeup. I want to instill a confidence without overpowering uh, the woman's natural beauty. So less really is more. I like to say put your best face forward. My first source of inspiration really was my mother and my sisters. I've got three sisters and a very glamorous mother, so it's kind of always telling them, don't leave home without that lipstick, take that lipstick off, and they listened. You know, as a young boy, they would look to me and say, Edward, what do you think about this? Should I wear that? And it just as they listened to me, it's nice to have women out there who follow my brand saying to me, should I wear this lipstick? Should I wear that lipstick? What eyeshadow to wear when my face is bronzed? What mascara should I wear with a brown liner? So it, I, I've always loved giving my beauty advice and it's so rewarding to share my vision for women now uh, with, with my products. I was not a makeup artist before I started my brand, but I certainly am now. Meeting with all of you out there, doing your makeup, and it's for me my greatest pleasure. It's nice to, to be in the field and get a chance to see my makeup live and in action. I started with the pout, the lips, uh, because it's the sexiest part of a woman's face and probably where I saw most women out there mess up, you know? Everything would be right, all details were in place until we got to the pout and then they had some dreadful shade that they would surely regret in years to come. I'm especially partial to my lip colors. I started my entire collection with Lip Wardrobe, a collection of 10 lipsticks and 5 lip glosses. They set the stage for all that was to launch after. If you've tried them, you'll understand why.